I am coming on to do a reading for the um, for the collective. It is just going to be a general general energy check-in, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't make something fit your situation if it doesn't fit or does not make sense for you. Okay, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm just going to shuffle and then I'll pull the energy around the reading and pull the reading, okay? I hope everybody was able to um, enjoy the holiday if you celebrate, um, well, whatever you, whatever you celebrate. Um, I hope you found time to relax or enjoy, um, enjoy whatever it was that you did. Okay. Spirit, what is the energy around this reading place. Okay, um, okay, so security, okay, so there could be some anxiety around, like, a sense of stability, especially right now with the, like, um, being in the season that we're in where there might be a need for, like, having more of a sense of stability, especially with, if you are in, like, the season of winter or, um, like, the colder season, there might be, like, um, a need to have more of a sense of stability with loss here. There could be like, uh, maybe something you're grieving around something you've lost when it comes to, I feel like a form of stability that's making you anxious, but this could be feeling like things are not going in your favor. Um, as far as maybe like a situation ending where you're feeling down on your luck or feeling like um feeling like could have to do with money or um like around your finances things are not turning in your favor or maybe you're just not um like There's like, um, financially there could be like a not doing so well or being, uh, I'm going to clarify what is this wealth and loss, what is wealth and loss? Yeah, so I feel like there's like not feeling empowered or there's a lack of fulfillment when it comes to could be something you do with work maybe you're not bringing in the amount of money you need to or um the position you're in could be what you do for work maybe you're um needing for it to work more in your favor um with ascension there might be a need to like maybe Re receive more or connect to a better position um, in your job or in the, the 
what you what you do for a living. Um, maybe there's something around inspiration or something you're inspired to do that's going to help things go more in your favor. Um, this could do have to do with like. Uh, yeah, developing some sort of skill or around some sort of skill development, um, maybe a craft or something you're looking into um, when it comes to like fine tuning a skill that you have or that you've been looking into um, researching more that's going to help things go more in your favor. This could be something that you're planning for or like that you're going back and forth in your head about like going towards. Um, you feel like this is something that you might be um, looking at creating or this could be a creation or you could look at be looking at um, becoming a creator maybe like on a platform okay so I feel like that's something that you may be looking at doing as far as having things go more in your favor maybe you're looking at like starting some sort of partnership with people that you're around or that you know that could be doing the same sort of thing okay so I feel like that's the energy around the reading Okay, so with the overall energy, I feel like this could be something that you may have started already. Um, maybe there is something you've started where you're could be like working on some sort of creative idea or project. I do feel like there's something you walked away from where you feel like you didn't have um, there. Yeah, it was something you cut off where you felt like you didn't have any more. Like there was you, there was something more that you could give to a situation where. There was like a need to walk away from something where you couldn't invest in a situation, at least not, um, I feel like emotionally invest in, into something anymore. But I feel like by walking away from whatever this was that there was like feeling drained or not, not even being able to like feed into something when it came to your like, um, 
really your emotions. There was the energy of coming into success in, where like there was could have been something when it came to like ideas or um, creativity or something like where like passion was involved. Maybe there was like a lot of thought put into this or a lot of thought that you like stayed up late late at night um, when it came to like thinking about this idea or this passion or this um, this like um, project or skill, whatever this was that you were developing, this could have been something that you went like around in circles about, or this was something that you like had a lot of like thoughts that like kind of repeated themselves. And I feel like the time and energy that you put into, um, thinking about this brought you into, a, like a lot of fulfillment when it came to being, uh, feeling like uh, whole or feeling a lot of, I feel like inner peace or happiness when it came to, um, yeah, feeling stable in this idea or this creative idea or project that you came into. This might be something that you do based off of some sort of intuition or intuitive knowing or creating from an intuitive spot. Um, or, or could even be something that is like created from some, um, it, like inner guidance or from like some higher, um, guided type of, um, awareness with the strength that we get, like, um, like a, like a god or goddess or like something you put your faith into because the lion can like often represent like a like um a guardian or a guide okay so like um so there could be something that you are following like as in like um uh being on like a life path with the high priestess and the page of cups and then the strength it's like a lot of intuitive or at least the lion, it's like a lot of intuition, following like your intuition or your gut feeling, especially with the lions, like that, that inner gut, that like strength, like that gut feeling is like really being called to go towards something, even maybe something where there's like a lot of conflict or going towards something where there is a lot of conflict, but bringing like forward your intuition or your, your gut feeling or your inner knowing to maybe bring um, like whatever conflict is going on into a state of success or into a state of balance or inner harmony or peace with the sun coming out. So maybe bring something where there was like, where there's a lot of conflict into more of like a sense of wholeness because we have, um, using your intuition to come into like, success or being whole out of conflict and I do feel like with the knight of swords there could be like a lot of aggression or you may deal with a lot of aggression coming at you because of something you do intuitively or something that you offer when it comes to your intuition but I do feel like you are standing strong when it comes to the sun and what you're guided by so I don't feel like necessarily that yeah with the queen of cups you I and, and the high priestess there is a lot of um uh, emotional, like, maturity, um, and I don't feel like you're necessarily going to be swayed when it comes to standing in your strength or your, um, like, your inner wisdom or power that you, uh, are, like, that you have a knowing around. So, um, I do feel like whatever aggression or conflict is coming at you, you're able to handle, okay? So, I'm going to clarify...
Okay, so I do feel like there's something you bring forward. Um, there could be a large uh, shift that you cause, ca like um, bringing forward some sort of new beginning or balancing out. Um, I feel like balancing out conflict using a, a, like self-love or bringing in self-love or patience even using patience to bring in a sense of self-love or um I feel like there could be the energy of like um I'm getting like let me see something So, I don't know, you might be, um, trying to see something. <clears throat> you might be like a, deal with like guidance or guidance counseling or be like um, a speaker in some way or do some sort of uh, therapy or, I mean, you could even just offer advice in any way in your life. Um, you could just like help family in offering like some sort of communication that brings forward clarity that for, for people or, I mean, this could even just be family members. I mean, in any way this resonates, but I feel like what you offer brings forward some sort of clarity that maybe like in a situation where there could be like, uh, if, if somebody has like has gone through a lot or has their guard up or is going through a large change I feel like there is something you offer where yeah there could be a lot of mental um, uh, either there could be like situations where people are going through like ruminating thoughts or a lack of clarity um, going through a large th there could be like a energy of people going through a large shift or a large change and it's something that where what the advice that you offer brings in the energy of being able to have, um, yeah, like working on or mastering skill around being able to have like a fresh, um, like a fresh start when it comes to feeling like they can go towards, um, like a practical, a practical plan towards a new beginning or starting over in a new way by focusing on their own needs or feeding into their own needs and coming out of the, the conflict they're in by um, feeding into what's going to nurture them um, or by focusing on nurturing their own needs. But I feel like this is going to, like what you offer or the advice that you offer is going to um, like maybe is being offered to somebody or that you're you're um maybe speaking to somebody that is walking away from something that is has been difficult maybe this was something that somebody had uh, invested a lot of energy and time into when it came to their emotions and um they had realized that there was nothing more they could feed into a situation which actually ended up making them instead of walking into their like nine of cups which was fulfillment they ended up walking to their like into like the nine of wait you know, the nine of wands which was like being really guarded um so i feel like instead of being like walking away and becoming very fulfilled in their emotions they became very guarded in um, because of some drastic shift or change that happened when they had to walk away from a situation. So maybe there's some sort of clarity that you bring out as far as, um, trying to bring focus or trying to bring, um, a heavy focus into feeding into your own, your own personal needs, mastering the skill of focusing on your own um needs when it comes to your yeah then we have the knight of pentacles so yeah mastering like the skill of focusing on your own needs feeding into your independence what's going to fulfill you what's going to bring um 
your future into you so that you can come into the nine of cups which is what you should come into after walking away from